Okay. So the MacBook, oh, I use um MacBook Air, uh, 14 inches. So, um, any laptop naman will do, pero whatever. Pwede rin naman yung desktop, basta like, makapag-vlog kayo ng maayos. Well, I think with this generation, I think they can survive with just an iPhone. Oh, but with me, I started with really hardcore vlogging. Like, like in you know, high school, pa, oh, like at 6 a.m., I woke up. Yung mga ganun pang vlogging, ayan, it's very, ano na, diba? Actual, it's more and more beware. So, locked up. And I, mostly, my Instagram photos, minsan naman, ayan, tapos sa, uh, sa laptop ko, Photoshop, and then precise the So, next. Well, camera, it's very essential when you put up your own vlog or generation of other, very essential camera. So, you know, what do you use? Fujifilm X-A2 there. Tapos, yun. So, I don't really edit my photos dun sa vlog. Kasi I'm ready to upload na siya when I use my Fujifilm. Kasi super ganda ng color, yung quality, parang super crisp niya. So, yun. Well, with me naman, I started with, I started out as a photographer. I was a contributor for Preview Magazine and the Philippine Daily Enquirer. So, I really started with an SLR. And then through the years, I found the beauty of mirrorless camera, so I stick with Fujifilm because so pro okay Like if you see the photos on my Instagram, it really goes straight from the camera. Because there is an option ngayon na parang yung Chrome filter. That's what I use. Um, uh, na sa camera na siya parang it makes all the photos soft and medyo pastel, so it's really nice. Sa din, meron din siyang ano uh, settings na Chrome. Yeah. So you can approach us later if you want. I use the settings. I'm going to use the settings. I'm going to use the settings. Okay, so next. Okay, so you need a laptop, you need a camera, you need an iPhone, but you also need creative juice. So this is very important when you're a blogger or an Instagrammer because this is where you really think about your concept, your photos. You know, because with bloggers, you have to attention to pictures. Mo eh. It's not really, well, words are in general, but it's really more crucial because with our generation, it's more visual. So, creative juice. Ako, pag kiyari, na-invite ako sa isang event or isang travel, marami kaming vloggers na na-invite. So, parang that, dun dumadating yung challenge sa akin na parang, paano kaya may iba yung concept ko sa ibang vloggers? Like, paano mag-stand up? Uh, so, it's so, like, like a healthy competition. Uh, like, kung may trips din, ganun. Like, madalas ko na-inerinig, like, Oy, sila nasa isang ano sila place sila pero like bakit to si David parang nagastan ko ni photos niya parang ganoon so we need to like really na parang paano magagawin yung RC yung place na hindi naman like RC parang ganoon Ako pa rin Bakit may ganun? Why did na makita? Oh, okay. Clear ba yung space? Sorry, hindi na ako pastel. Okay lang ba? Okay, next please. Quality content. <laughs> so, so kung mo post kayo, parang don't just post na for the sake of marketing new post. Tapat like pinaghanda niyo talaga yung post niyo. Like hindi dapat like short, wag din too long kasi magiging boring yung post niyo. So dapat like ako it's like two days yung post. Like per first ako like photos muna then write up ganun. Need to really produce quality content para yung readers niyo magiging interested, you know, interested sila dun sa topics na i-write niyo dun sa blog. And dapat ano niyo yung market niyo para what if hindi nila gusto yung content ng vlog niyo? So, hindi nila pupuntahan. So, you need to really, um, ano siya? Well, with me, um, before kasi when I was um, really into hardcore vlogging, I was vlogging every single day just so kasi puso dati yung topvlogs.ph So that's where the ranking is na parang first, first vlog, top vlogger is Dory Gu, is second, ganun. So pag hindi ka nang nagpost ng isang araw, ang laki nang mawawala mo sa ranking. So, ako, I focused on quantity more than the quality. But then, through the years, I realized na it's really better if you focus on the quality. Kasi parang, you know, when when you check a blog, di ba naka-chronological order siya? So you see the latest post. So paano ko yung latest post mo ang tangit, di ba? So parang, mawala na ng gana. So you just lost a follower if you, they saw the like, uh, badly written blog post or tangit yung pictures. So always give your best every single time. 
Okay, so go back to the basics. So this is how we started as bloggers and Instagrammers. Next. Oh, I started. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I started vlogging when I was in third year college. So parang hindi ko late for you guys. Kasi like, nung ako nag-vlog, paano lang ako dati ni David? Kasi nag-o-picture ako sa kanya. Parang oh, 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 Richard ko, mas kaalo si Torres yung ano na. Ganun ako nag-start. Like, kumatid ako ng talks niya, ganun. So events. So parang kayo din, ganyan na ako dati. So parang, ano, nung July 2012, nag-start ako nag-vlog. Hindi pa ako everyday nag-post like whenever we go out sa family lang. Tapos, like after a few weeks, sabi ko, na parang gusto ko na lagi kong malis to dress up para may ma-post. Then after a few months, parang na-enjoy ko siya like to write, like photo. So, minsan like um, one Saturday, kasi may free cost since I was student pa lang before. Like six outfits, i-shoot ko siya within one day. Ganun, ganun, ganun siya before. Kasi parang gusto mo lang kumabol eh. So, parang parang paano mo i-aakat yung sarili mo na parang lumebel sa kanila. So, kailangan mas ipag ka na rin shoot ganun. I'm sure photo. Next, please. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, before kasi, <laughs> ano, October 2013, um, I joined the contest hosted by Forever 21, yung 3 Bs My Way contest. So, kasi before, kasi student pa lang ako, so, nag-save up talaga ako like, to buy Forever 21 clothes. Tapos yun, yung um, contest kasi, is we need to style um, at least from Forever 21, then style it differently like 3 looks. So yeah, yung style ko like casual lang, then gano'ng mag-classy, then yung isa pang festival look. So, para sure na gusto ko talagang manalo, I created um, three entries. So yun yung winning entry ko. So yun. So yung price is parang na-publish kami sa Meg Magazine. Yan. Yan. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for those who don't know, I actually got my big break from Forever 21. So it's I told you it's very it's a very special day for me to give this stuff to you guys. Because if it weren't for Forever 21, I won't be here right now. Because you know, um, someone emailed me the marketing head of Forever 21. They told me, David, they want to be a brand ambassador for Forever 21 men. They represent the men's line. So I, I didn't reply because I had a scam. Because I had no idea. Na, ah, pwede pala mag sponsor ng blogger. Pwede pala maging endorser ng bloggers. So I was really clueless that time. And then Trisha was like the pioneer of blogging. I was following her on Twitter and then she tweeted na para. I'm so happy I'm now an brand ambassador for Forever 21. So, sabi ko, ay, legit nga to. So, nag-reply na ako sa kanila and then everything took off from there. As in, I wasn't, so, I wasn't used to it. Like, I attended, that was my first event ever. Sobrang daming maganda. Doon sa event na yun. And then, we had to do spiels, we had to do talks. And then I got my first hater. So, parang everything was just like a whirlwind for me. I didn't know how to handle it. So, but yeah, it all started with Forever 21. <laughs> okay, so yun yung mga first looks ko. I was very head to go for Ever 21 for like one year because it started like um, 2009 when it arrived here. So, yun siya. So as you can see, sobrang payat ko pa. I was really doing heavy layers just so parang mukha ko mas makapal. So I was really doing everything and I was really trying to prove myself in the industry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kailangan na naka-angle yung legs na yun. Okay, next please. Huwag nyo i-judge mga kong chicks or dati guys. Okay, sige na next. 